Hey y'all, Barker the Best here, coming to you guys with another video. Now, um, this weekend, it's going to be a long weekend for me because I have, um, you guys may think, bruh, it's not the weekend yet, you still have Friday tomorrow, but actually I'm on a four day weekend thing where I have Friday off, Saturday off, well, everybody has Saturday off, I have Friday off, um, and then Saturday and Sunday, and then I also have Monday off, so I have this four-day weekend thing. So I'm be able to churn out a lot of stuff for you guys this weekend. But the actual 100 and the actual 100 subscriber special thing, that's coming out uh, Sunday. Yeah, Sunday. So 100 subscriber special that will be out Sunday. But the 100 subscriber thing that I already did, that was just for you know a little entertainment because I didn't. I wanted to thank you guys, you know. But today, I'm here because I have a short little unboxing for you, if you can see this figure peeking out right here. I went to a comic shop yesterday. It's called Galactic Quest. There's not only one. There, I feel like there are several of them around the Georgia area. Let me just get up and move my chair here. Hold up. Give me a second. Yeah. I need to push my chair, and I was too far away. But anyways... Uh, um, so, there are several of them in the Georgia area, and I went to one, and before you say anything, no, I did not get this figure from there. There's a Walgreens right next to it. I went to that store, and everything was so expensive. They had a Malekith for $22. Bruh, $22. I mean, they had a Thor for 22 and I guess that's okay, but I got mine at Walmart for I just got mine for 20 but, geez, everything there was so expensive. But then after that, I mean, I, I, they, had, so they had good figs, though. And so I didn't pick anything up from there. Everything was too expensive. But after that, I went to the Walgreens that was right next to it, and I picked up this guy. Um, Walgreens, guys, they are actually getting the Captain Marvel wave and the M'Baku waves. So pretty much every single wave that I'm collecting right now, they're getting the newer waves. So, yeah, check those guys out. But this is my fourth Captain Marvel figure. Um, as for the wave, the Kree Sentry actually looks good. But you know what I'm going to end up doing with the Kree Sentry? If I ever get the leg that comes with Genis Vale, what I'll do is that I will build the Kree Sentry figure as it is right there, right? But I won't buy the head that comes with Grey Gargoyle. I won't buy the part that comes with Grey Gargoyle. I'll probably just use one of the heads I already have and make that almost like a mech type thing because honestly, it looks really good. I'm not going to lie. So I'm still on the hunt for Nick Fury and <clears throat> Grey Gargoyle. But, but guys, word on the street, not really word on the street, more like I've seen it happen, but they, but Walmarts are getting Black Panther Wave 2 figs, Umaku Wave. For five bucks, Walmart has made another mistake, guys. You guys need to take advantage of that. I am going to try to take advantage of it whenever I can go to Walmart. Hopefully Sunday, but I feel like they'll all be gone by then. But hope that I'll get some today or tomorrow. But I just wanted to bring you guys a short unboxing right now. So, yeah. My shirt is all wrinkly. Ugh. But anyways, let's unbox this figure. Alright, one thing y'all know about me is that I like to keep the boxes. And you know what? The boxes can make a little diorama usually. So, I keep my boxes looking good. Or at least I try to. Because the first Marvel Legend I've ever gotten was the Iron Man one. Oh, shoot. My first Marvel Legend was the Iron Man, and I thought that I was cutting that box up right, but honestly, I was actually, like, really wrecking it. Here's the Min Bob Trooper. Can I right here? I was actually really wrecking that box, so I didn't, never wanted to make the same mistake again, but these new Marvel Legends boxes, they are, I guess, pretty good. People have been saying that it's easier to steal, it's easier to steal with them, but I don't really think so. This guy is fresh. Oh, 
These Captain Marvel figures smell so good, man. This thing really helps keep the smell in. Oh, that is so good. Mmm. Man, I'll never get over you. No, well, probably will, but... Honestly, Talos is a figure. A lot of people aren't really excited for Talos. Uh, for figure-wise, because... Honestly, I want him. I wanted him, yes. But I still feel like he f he kind of has like the essence of the Loki of he kind of like has like the Loki Thor Ragnarok wave essence where it feels like he's going to be the peg warmer one out of all of the ones in the wave. It feels like he's the one who's going to be peg warming for the wave. I don't know why. It just he just gives me that feel. But honestly, he it looks, he, I don't know, he just gives me that low-key feel. But he looks great, but if you guys notice, if you guys notice this. Oh, okay. If you guys noticed this figure, the box art, I can't tell whether it's the figure with the mistake or the box art with the mistake. But you'll see inconsistencies between the figure and the box art in which, I'll show you this in a second. I get this thing back in. Sorry, guys. I keep the boxes, okay? I don't know why, but whenever I have something, nothing goes to waste, bruh. I keep the boxes. I keep the plastic inside. Whenever I open a figure, nothing is thrown away. I mean, for, for blister cards, then yes, but for boxes, just so much work was put into this by machines. Oh, my gosh. Anyways, but, um, look, so, if you look at here, dang it, my camera's kind of bad at picking up the detail, but, look, you look right here, and you see, you'll see that some of the, the um, oh, let me get a good, better angle, I'm sorry, guys, you'll see that, if you look closely, you'll see the shoulder pad here, you'll see that it's on his You'll see that it's on his left side. And on mine, well, honestly, the camera gives you the illusion that everything is backwards, but it is on his left side, if you guys get the box. And then on my f actual figure, it's on the right side. So that's weird, because even, look at this. The shoulder pad is this part right here. Then you look at this, and it's like, it's not really consistent. So I don't know whether it's the figure that's wrong or the box is that or the box that is wrong, but it's like the armor is on like backwards almost, almost like on the wrong side. So I don't know whether that's the artwork or the box, but still, I mean, I guess it's not really too important. But I don't know why this figure just reminds me of Loki. He reminds me of Loki. Oh, I can't like that. Yeah, right, there we go. I don't have a camera, guys. I record through my phone, so the quality is so bad. I hope to get a camera one day to give you guys actually good content. But I honestly do really like this figure. I mean, like, I don't know exactly why, but he looks and smells good. Now look at that. Look at that Talos head. Okay. Look at that Talos head, bruh. My thing is bad at picking up detail, but this Talos head. Y'all should definitely get this Captain Marvel wave, man. So this is one, and you know what? I was so happy to get this figure because it's also a villain. I need a lot more MCU villains. I mean, like, a lot, a lot. I was in, like, November, was it? No, August. In August of last year, I was on this entire campaign thing to get more villains for my MCU shelf because, like, granted, MCU... Well, for my Marvel Legends, I was on a campaign to get more villains for my Marvel Legends because I don't have a lot of, first of all, there are not a lot of MCU villains out there that Marvel Legends has released, so the 10th anniversary stuff really helps me out, but I can't seem to find the 10th anniversary stuff on clearance nowadays, man. I didn't know that, you know, the prices vary per Walmarts and stuff like that, so it's been harder and harder for me to get the 10th anniversary figures with the actual villains but for as for now the villains that i actually want are the what's his name mandarin three pack on amazon hopefully that goes on sale the mandarin three pack the 
Ant-Man Yellow Jacket 2-pack. I already had that, but then I had to return it because it was just... Man, I knew that I could get it on clearance someday. Someday. So that's why I returned that one. And then also the... What's it called? What's that guy called? Um... Ugh, what's his name? Don't totally remember, but... All, the point is that I need more villains. So, yeah. But honestly, this Talos figure, it's really nice. But the reason why I feel like he's going to be the Loki of the wave, the Loki of the wave, is because he doesn't have really any good accessories. He doesn't have any accessories except for the pre sentry arm. And, oof, these... Mine has a weird jacket thing where the buttons won't go in. Hmm. Oh, wow, you can remove the jacket, actually. I mean, you can remove the stuff that he has on. Wow, this is actually a good fig. But it just, I, don't, I, don't, I just feel like he's going to pay worn. I don't know why. But, hey, Marvel Legends has come thus far where the figures look so good that even if they didn't have accessories, collectors will still buy them. One of those collectors being me. Especially, I collect Marvel Legends because I like to collect stuff i like to collect things that i like black series i collect that although i am putting black series on a temporary like you know just hold because i have too many of them i got too many too fast because marvel legends i have been hunting for a longer time than black series i think black series in december alone black series my collection doubled december alone guys that is that is insane so, that's why I'm taking a break from Black Series right now. You want proof? Look at this. This is... I've counted all my Black Series merchandise. I have plus 50. Look, there's even one that fell down there. So, yeah. Not too many Black Series figures, man. But, as for this Talos, this is a great figure. I'm going to stick him right beside the... In the cosmic section of my collection. Sorry that I'm not talking a lot. I don't... I don't really know what to say. But honestly, this is a great figure. And it also comes with this Cree Sentry leg. With, whoa. It's actually not a lot of ankle pivot. Actually, not a lot of ankle movement at all. Hmm. It's very interesting. Thought that it'd have way more than this. But let's stick this on to the rest of the Cree Sentry that I have right now. Hello, Cole Obsidian. But we're not here for you right now. Yeah, these are my build a figure pieces. Alright. Alright, so let's stick this leg onto this thing. Hold up, which leg is this? I'm gonna have to look at the art now. Hold on. Okay, alright, so it's this leg. They all saw Cole Obsidian. I'm trying to assemble him. Actually, because I remember I I was halfway through Cole Obsidian. No, actually, I was most of the way through Cole Obsidian when I stopped. When I halted my collection of Marvel Legends. That was when I was almost done with Cole Obsidian. And that was also when I uh, just finished Mantis. I mean, well, no. Was halfway through Mantis. That's when I stopped collecting Black Seer. I mean, uh, Marvel Legends full time. But wow, look at this. This actually looks pretty beast. I will actually, I will really use this as a mech because, look, this is, this is awesome. This is great. Tell us this is bringing you in a frame. Wow. But I, okay, all right, but I, um, I realized that this figure I mean, I realized that I don't have a lot of Builder figures collected, so I wanted to get more Builder figures. So I'm trying to finish Cole Obsidian. Man, this video is getting longer than I wanted it to. I don't know why, but these unboxing videos, I always say that they're going to be short and brief, but somehow I just end up going all the way through them. I'm sorry for wasting your time, guys. But anyways, yeah. Talos, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, sorry, I'm not going to show them what the rest of the Captain Marvel wave, but this is this video is already longer than I want it to be. 
But the last shot will be me putting Talos in a pose. So let's go to the fig room. Alright, so here's the collection, and I decided to stick Talos right there, even though I definitely will not be keeping him there. I, I most likely will change him. But my phone was dying out, so I needed to come up with something quick. But anyway, guys, um, I hope that you enjoyed this quick unboxing video. Um, so the 100 subscriber special will be on Sunday. So that will probably be the next time I get a video out. Unless I go to Walmart sometime before Sunday and I find Black Panther Wave 2. So, yeah. Anyways, guys. I say anyways too lot. But say goodbye to Cole City, and I feel like the next time you'll be seeing him, or at least the next next time, he will be complete because I am hunting down. Not really, I'm hunting down. I'm waiting. To, I'm waiting to pounce on um, Malekith and Black Knight. Sorry, I just wanted to check my charge. But anyways, I'm not gonna say anyways again, guys. See you later. Rock the best out. Hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, and subscribe. Rock of the best.